Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam Olinger, and I'm sitting in a parking lot right now waiting for a movie to start. I have about 45 minutes, so I thought I'd fire up the cameras and uh, quickly talk about Marriage Story. The really nice thing about Marriage Story is, one, you can watch it right now at home if you have Netflix, and two, it's really good and you should watch it right now at home if you have Netflix. This film stars Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. Neither is really a huge draw for me. Um, if Scarlett Johansson isn't wearing some ridiculously tight leather outfit, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I never really took her for much of an actress. I realize she's one of the highest paid ones out there currently. She's in a lot of great movies. I just never really struck her as someone that's capable of delivering such a powerful performance. That was until I watched this film. Um, and yes, that's ignorance on my part. I'm sure she has some other roles where she really wows the audience, but I just am not familiar. Here, though, I was completely blown away by her and Adam Driver. They work so well together. And this film as a whole, it has such a small, tight, compact premise. It's about a couple that's having marital issues, and it's the process of their divorce and how miserable the whole thing can be and really how lawyers are in general the worst, at least in this sort of field. I don't know any personally. Thankfully, I've been married happily for uh, over a decade now and um, we're going, we're just as strong as ever. Now I realize it's not all gumdrops and sticker packs for a lot of couples. Um, there's plenty of relationships that end in divorce. It's ugly, it's messy, and it's not something anybody wants. Uh, so I could see why this would be a turnoff for, for people that don't want to relive that because this movie uh, really is, it's grounded, it's, it's not trying to cut any corners here or glamorize anything. There is no sort of celebration in the fact that these two are going through this struggle. It's, it's really, it's ugly, it's, it's messy, it's dirty, and it's everything you don't want to think about or watch. Yet somehow I enjoyed it. I... I I felt uncomfortable for these characters. I felt sympathetic for both sides. They do such a good job of showing what Adam's going through and what Scarlett's going through. I don't know their character names. It doesn't matter because you can see yourselves in these characters if you've been in a relationship. Uh, I myself have had plenty of fights with my wife. They've, they've, there's been screaming matches. There's been petty insults, uh, especially when kids are in the mix and you're up all night with no sleep or you're sacrificing work, or you're sacrificing friendships that, you know, you, you want to go out and have fun, but you have new responsibilities, and all of that is covered here, and it's just perfection. I, I just can't get over it. I watched this movie twice already. I watched it once really n late at night. I was up to like one in the morning, and then uh, the next night I really wanted my wife to see it, and Lindsay watched it with me, and we had some good discussion afterwards. Now, they're not the only two people. There's other performances in this that almost overshadow them, which is amazing because they are so good in this. I should, I should I always warn ahead of time. These are just, you know, it's a review. It's my review, but it's not an in-depth thing. I don't, I'm not pretending to be super knowledgeable or an expert when it comes to, you know, Hollywood behind the scenes. I constantly forget the name of actors. I look them up on IMDb before this, and I still forget um, this isn't a show where things are planned out. I'm just giving my real honest reactions like any normal person would. But the the lawyers, you got the guy from MASH. Can't remember his name. The, guy, the main guy from MASH. Terrific. You have the woman from Jurassic Park. How do I not know her name? She's a, Laura Dern. So good. She's vicious in this thing. Uh... Yeah, and you have Ray Liotta just th thrown in the mix. There's some dark comedy that I think works really well. Yeah, I don't have a negative thing to say. I like how the, sh the film is shot, too. Once again, there's nothing glamorous here. So there's no beautiful, wide-angled Hollywood shots, even. There's no glorified sex scene or, or party scene. It it's all very kind of depressing and, and just kind of raw emotion. The, the one, I, I think the one negative, and it didn't bother me the second time at all, is how it kind of abruptly ends in a bit of an art house -y way. You know, the film is going out of its way to not be the norm. It's not trying to be a typical relationship movie. So the ending is kind of abrupt, and it's not really a satisfactory conclusion maybe that some people want. For me, I thought it was fine. Um, and, and then the second view, and I thought it was even better. Anyway, my ranking system's kind of a joke. Since a lot of movies are coming out to Netflix, I usually say if it's worth the trip, that means go to the theaters and see it. 
it's worth a trip on the couch. Okay, this is, this is a movie you should watch, so stream it at home. Let me know in the comments what you thought. You might have thought it was just a boring waste of your time. I, I, I understand that it's probably going to be a lot different for someone who's in, in high school or middle school even, who hasn't had a relationship or a very serious one. It, it, uh, but it could just be just as interesting because you may have seen that through your parents or, or some similar situation. But, but know this, the, the more you love someone, the, the harder the fights get. You know, you, if, if, if you're truly with someone that you respect and love and admire and you're, you're trying to please, those fights can get tough. You know, because it's like you're, you're, you're letting an extension of yourself down. It's like you're fighting with yourself. And uh, that, yeah, that can be tough. Anyway, thanks for joining me in the car. I'm going to go see this movie and I'll try to do another review right after it's done. So there should be back-to-back -back ones here soon. All right, take care.